hello welcome to ss unitech social side and today we are going to see about the flattened transformation in azure data factory so if you haven't watched the last video of this video series where we have discussed about the parse transformation so i would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward because you will be going to have the better understanding about the flattened transformation if you have watched that video so what is the flattened transformation use the flattened transformation to take a array values inside a hierarchical structures such as json or the unroll them into the individual rows this process is known as the denormalization so for example if we are having the values in a, a array for like item 1 and the item 2 something like this if we are having that value in the array so in the last video by using the Parse transformation, we are converting these two into two different columns like the column 1 and column 2. But in the flattened transformation, that will be having a single column and these two will be going to convert into two rows basically. So it will be going to have the item 1 here and then it will be going to have the item 2. So this can be done by using flattened transformation. So go to on the browser and try to see in the practical. So this is one of the customer file here for the sample. I am holding only a single customer data and this data is in format of JSON. It has the customer ID email, then the customer name, again, the complex data type, because it is again having the nested JSON value here for the first name and last name. And after that, the item. The item we can see here two items and these two items are in a single row. So we want to split that into two different row. First row will be the visor and second will be the mudguard. So this we want to convert. So go to on the Azure data factory. Let me try to add a new data flow here. So first let me call this data flow as flatten transformation for ft now here we are required to add the source so this is the azure blob storage under this input folder and this is the customer dot json file as i have already created the source for the same so let me try to use that one so that is the json one let me try to open so we can verify that so this is pointing under the input folder of the customer dot json file so this is for the source. Let me go in the data preview and try to refresh so we can see the data. Okay, so it got failed because we did one mistake. So let me go in the source option. Here in the bottom, we can see the JSON setting and this file is having the single document. So we have to select this option. Now let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it. So now we should be able to see the data that we have seen in the source. So here as we can see the data like this is ID, email and after that this is the first name and this is the last name. Then here we can see the items. So under the item this is the complex data type with an array values. So once we click on that then we can see it has two values for the item 1 and item 2 for the visor and mudguard. So instead of going to load that we want to create two rows for the same one for the visor and second for the mudguard so how we can do that let me go here and try to add the flattened transformation so under this flattened transformation we can see the enroll by so on what basis we want to do the enroll so that is the item and only that option is enabled here because that is holding the value as an array so we can select that after that we can see enroll root so this is again item now here we can see in the bottom side so here all the mapping are completed so let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it so this time it will be going to have two rows with the visor and mudguard that we can see and verify so it has two rows here and one for the visor and second for the mudguard so this item is converted the complex data type to the string one now let me try to add this into the sync so we can verify there in the file so here let me try to use the inline data set 
and here we can convert this into the delimited text as an in destination link service we have already created we can select that one after that we can go into the setting and here we have to select the folder path so we can browse and under this we have the input folder so under this go to the output folder so here we want to keep the file let me click on ok here the first row as header we want to keep that after that the file name option so let me try to use output to a single file and the name of the file that will be your customer data dot csv file after that go to on the mapping disable this auto mapping here we need to do the mapping manually so how we can do all these like id is going to map with the id that is okay email is going to map with the email that is okay here we can see the customer name so this is the complex data type so we have to select the first name here and this will be having the first name like this and after that let me try to add a new mapping here and this mapping let me use the customer last name and this should be the last name like this now everything is okay now we can go in the data preview and try to refresh it so we should be going to see the data here so as we can see it has all the data and like the customer first name then the last name then the item everything is okay as per the expectation let me try to publish this so it is saying the output to a single file okay because we have selected the option to output to a single file so we have to go here and go to the optimize and we need to use the single partition instead of the current partition now let me try to publish this so it will be published in between let me try to add a new pipeline so we can execute this and we will verify the same here for execution of the data flow we have to use the data flow activity publishing completed so go to the setting and here let me try to select the data flow that we have created so this one now let me try to debug it so we will be going to see the output of this into the blob storage so let me go in the blob storage go to the output folder of this so we can go into the container go to the output folder of this and here we can see the customer data file so we can open this so it will have two records with the visor and mudguard in two different rows so let me click on this edit so here we can see it has two records everything is same except this items so visor for the first one and second for the mudguard so this is the actual use of the flatten transformation so let me try to recap what we have done so as we have seen in the source we are having the data into the complex data type in in an array so what we have done we are going to use the source and under this flatten transformation we are going to unroll by that column so that column is the item so that's why we have selected the item here and under this mapping so everything is okay so we have only done this unroll by so this is going to unroll and converted your array type values into different rows so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video